everyone. Welcome back to our channel. You're watching The Twilight Dimension. If you watched the previous episode, you saw that we kind of touched a bit um a bit on our previous experiences with astral projection or sleep paralysis like yeah. you were mentioning. Today we're going to go into a little bit more detail on other experiences that we've had. I know I've been interested in this like the paranormal stuff since I was a child. Like I I remember the exact I remember the exact moment that I became interested in this stuff. I was nine years old. You were nine? I was nine years old. And I remember the exact situation. My sister had come my sister had come home from mm -hmm. a birthday party. She's five years older than me. So I was nine. She was fourteen. She went to a birthday party and she had come home and she's just like, Oh, we played this like amazing game and we spoke to the dead and like we asked for a sign so i didn't know it then but she was talking about the ouija board the yeah. ouija board everybody i'm sure everybody knows about the the infamous ouija board um that they say is a game that's not a game i'm telling you guys right now uh so she came home and she told us this i remember just hearing her talk about like the fact that they spoke to the dead and like you know they asked the the ghost for a sign and the ghost like slammed the door and no one was there like just the things that she said to me i remember that was the day that i was like okay so i grabbed my mom like listen we're going to kmart or zellers or wherever it was it was somewhere that that's not open today yeah. i know it was some sort of department store and they were selling it, and I remember the price. It was like nine ninety nine. So they're selling these games at Zellers. Yes, because they don't think it's real. It's real. They don't think it's real. <laughs> okay. And I, I still, I think if you go to like Mastermind Toys or, um, I don't know what what toy stores they have in like the states or whatever, um, I think that you can still buy the Ouija board for like, dirt cheap. And it's just weird because I, I I read something funny online that said. Like, you have to be 18 and over to watch, like, violent or sex-related movies. Yeah. But you have to be, like, 9 and above to, like, summon the devil. <laughs> so, anyways, um, that's what happened. I remember that was the day that I got interested. My mom actually bought me the game. Because, again, my mom was, like, whatever. It's a freaking board game with, like, letters on it. And you, like, use your imagination. It's not your imagination. Oh that was the day um, that I attracted all this crap to me. And that's why I believe that that's why all this shit happens to me now. Is because I effed with something I wasn't supposed to eff with. I really, I really believe Ooh. that. Um, if you guys haven't played the Ouija board, don't. Don't do it. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't play. do it. And I feel like us saying don't do it, you're going to do it now. But seriously, don't do it. Don't do it's it. It's not a game. It's like, it's not a game. Were you always interested in this stuff? Because I know we've known each other for like five, six years. We've known each other for, for, for a while now. Yeah. And we actually didn't like each other when we first no. met. <laughs> um, but we've known each other for about five or six years. And we were always talking about this. That's actually one of the things that got me and her close Closer, together. Yeah. Um, because we would just talk about this stuff hours and hours on end. So we're like, you know what? Why don't we just do this on YouTube? <laughs> and get everybody else interested, right? Yeah. Um, were you always interested in this even before we started talking? I was. As a child, I remember seeing my grandfather that I've never met before actually come visit me. Wait, if you... And he if, what... How did you... If you've never met him before, how did you know it was Well, him? like through pictures, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, right. So, I was sleeping. I was around maybe six years old. And yeah. I felt like the bed go down. I'm like, okay, it's my mom just checking up on me, seeing if I'm okay. The bed... She never got back up to leave. What do you mean the bed go down? Like somebody was sitting on the bed. Oh, this is before Tempur-Pedic beds came yes. out. <laughs> okay. So, time passed by. The bed was still being sat on. Yeah. And I decided to look over. I'm like, okay, it's weird. My mom shouldn't be here for this long. Why, why isn't she going to yeah. her room or out of the room? Then I see like this white figure. And with the figure, it looked like my grandfather's face. So I look over, I'm six years old, I get freaked out, so I ended up kicking him, just because I was so scared. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, you you have to be one of the most gangster child <laughs> children I've ever met in my life. Well, what you was I supposed the to ghost. do? Tell him, go and talk to my grandfather? The one that you've never met? <laughs> the one that I've never met? Be like, oh yes, hello, how are you? <laughs> you were six. Yeah. You know what, the, the thing that... I believe you more, first of all, I believe everything that you say, yeah, but yeah. I believe you more because you were six. Yeah. Because I honestly believe that children 
see more than adults do than like adults do. i when i was a kid i had so many more experiences so many more feelings um where i sense so much more energy yeah. than i do now like it's like as if it's like slowly every year that passes by i lose that gift or whatever yeah um so i really believe that kids can see it like i have like i have a son i have two kids my oldest son he's two years old he things happen with him where I'm like, he's seeing something. Like, yeah. he's for sure seeing something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I definitely believe the story even more because you were six years old, you know? Yeah, if I was, like, um, 16 and saying this, it would be kind of questionable, maybe. Yeah. But... See, and I feel like people are think the exact opposite of us. Yeah. People would be like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Six-year-olds have a wild imagination. I would believe her more if she was 16 rather than six. We're not like that. If you talk to a lot of people who believe in spirits and all the stuff, the paranormal, a lot of them will tell you kids see them definitely. They see them more. They see like, them more, yeah. For sure. What's the scariest thing that's ever happened to you? Like, in regards to the stuff that we're talking about, obviously. I had mentioned the in the other episode what had happened to me and like, what was the scariest one. The demons and yeah, the super elves? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I think the most interesting one was that there was one time where it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was sleeping, and I hear my f parents fighting. Mm -hmm. And so I wake up, I'm listening to them, but I felt really heavy. So I'm like, okay, is this normal? Why am I so heavy right now? Then I noticed that I was actually having a sleep paralysis, so I made myself wake up. How but did then you make yourself wake up? Because a lot of people have sleep paralysis, and they don't know how to wake up. How did you make yourself wake up? Did you pray? I just, yeah, I prayed until yeah, I actually that's what I woke do. up. Yeah, yeah. The, anytime I pray, the, I wake up. Like, and the thing is, like, you can't really talk when you're in a you sleep paralysis. You can't yeah. talk, so you just, like, think about the prayer. That's worked for me. Like, whatever works for you guys, like, yeah. whatever you guys have. But every single time I pray, or I say, like, you know, I do, like, my cross in my head or whatever, or I say, Our Father, Yeah. in my head, I always wake up. Yeah, so I ended up waking up. And then a couple of days later, I had another one of them fighting as well. They were fighting again. They were it? fighting again. So I'm like, this is my clue, as in, I am having another sleep paralysis. Okay, let's wake up. That's so weird. I have a clue too when I'm in an astral projection and I don't know that I'm an astral projection. Mm -hmm. If I see someone that's in that astral and they're talking and they're mute, that's how I know. Yeah. That's how I know that I'm in an astral projection. Um, so you told me, you told me the most interesting, because you already told the scariest, um, like, situation that you had was last yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah. My scariest situation, um, that happened to me that had something to do with this stuff, it was, so when I lived in my mom's house, my mom's house, because my parents got divorced, um, and my mom lived on her own, my dad lived on his own. I lived in my mom's house for a while, and... There was a situation where, not a situation, that house was, I had a lot of things happen to me in that house. I honestly do believe that it was haunted. Yeah. There was, and, and it wasn't haunted by, like, a regular spirit. Like, you can tell it was negative. Like, it was a negative spirit. It was a negative spirit. It was a spirit. negative spirit, and I'll explain to you why and how I know this. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I had a lot of bad dreams in that house, like, 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 messed up dreams. I remember I had a dream where, like... I saw a family in a limousine and they were going somewhere. They were all dressed up and they got into a car accident so horrific where they were all like, I don't know what was happening. Like they were just so messed up, but I was watching the accident happen. And this so was, was like outside your house? No, there was, this was just like was a random limo a and I was watching it happen. There was that dream. There was like, it, it, and I know people have dreams all the time, but yeah. in this house, all my dreams were just negative. They were just messed up dreams. I would sleep over at a friend's house. I would never have dreams. I would sleep over, like, like I would... There was a point where my friend lived on campus, and I would stay with her for a while. Never had never these had dreams. Them. Only when I would go to this house, I would have, like, the worst things. So, um, there was one night that I was sleeping in my bedroom where I actually woke up feeling hands on my neck, <sighs> literally strangling me. And this wasn't, it wasn't an astral projection. Yeah. I had actually woken up. I was physically awake. And I, I woke up to the feelings of, like, hands around my neck. Yeah. That's 
that was the last straw that I had in that in that house in that room I told my mom I'm like I'm not sleeping upstairs anymore I, I noticed that when I slept upstairs of the house yeah. it, more of this stuff happened but yeah. downstairs it wouldn't it's it's a weird thing I don't know what it was like it's weird why couldn't this co ghost just like come downstairs, come downstairs you know yeah. and like bother me Unless there more maybe something really bad had happened at the upstairs part of the house that could be it right i i, I really believe that that's uh, that could be a, yeah. a, where they're stuck in yeah. that place and they can't come and down can't go anywhere. because every time i would sleep downstairs everything was fine but if i would go upstairs that's when shit would happen so i remember that was one of the scariest things but um, this is actually touching base on um, that that mute thing that I was just talking about. Mm -hmm. I was I was feeling a little ill. I was feeling under the weather, and my me and my 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 husband now, but he was my boyfriend then. He, we went to my mom's house together, and it was around two in the afternoon. I went to sleep in my mom's bedroom, and he was sleeping in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. He was taking a nap. We were arguing. I remember that's why we weren't sleeping in the same place because he was pissing me off. <laughs> So, um, I was, uh, I was in my mom's bedroom. My mom was downstairs and she was cooking and doing whatever. And up until this point, I had never had an astral projection during the day. So I was sick. Remember, I was sick and I had a fever. And you probably didn't sleep as much from the day before. I think so. I'm not too yeah. sure. But so I go there. I'm like, I take a nap. And then I wake up and I'm feeling really, really drowsy. I'm feeling that heavy feeling heavy, again. Yep. But again, because I'm feeling the heavy feeling, I think it's because my body's aching and I have a fever and I'm, I'm just feeling sick. Yeah. So I come and I like take myself off the bed and I fall onto the floor and I can't move. And I'm trying to call my, my boyfriend's name, his, his name, my husband now. His name was Frank. His name is Frank. Is Frank. <laughs> it was Frank. Okay, his name is Frank. And I kept trying to say, Frank, Frank. And I was like, it was hard for me to speak. I couldn't speak. All of a sudden, I see that he starts walking towards me from my bedroom. And again, the, the, it's not like this was nighttime. or This yeah. was daytime. It was sunny outside. It was sunny outside in, in this projection. Till this point, I did not know that I was projecting. Um... I'm thinking that I'm I'm really sick and my sickness has gotten worse and I'm just feeling really really under the weather. So I start calling his name whatever and then he starts walking towards me. He starts walking towards me and he puts out his hand. And as he starts talking, all I like I don't hear his voice. He's just like and that is when I was like, oh my god, I'm not awake. And I, I back away from his hand. I don't touch him because I'm like, this isn't him. Yeah. Who the f*** is this, yeah. right? So I, I back away. And this guy, whoever this thing was, was trying to take me, like was, was pointing to a door that wasn't there in my mom's house. This is where... What? I, I'm, tell, I'm getting goosebumps whenever I just talk about it. He was showing me a door that was not at my mom's house. So I remember thinking, you're not awake, you're not awake, wake up, wake up, wake up. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, wake the fuck up. And I remember this yeah. was the one time I didn't pray. I just kept telling myself, wake up, wake up, like what's going on, yeah. like, like, like this is not real. Like he's, he's not Frank, yeah. he's something that's mimicking Frank. So that's when I like, thank God I woke up. Yeah. But to this day, you guys, you have no idea. To this day, I am still curious if I had followed him into what that door. What that was door? that? What was behind? And that's why I really believe that movie Insidious has something to do with this stuff. This. Because that movie Insidious, what if that could have happened to me? I know I sound crazy right now, but he, he was showing me a door that wasn't there. Like, what the? Who was this? So, and it was daytime. It was the same exact time that it was when I had fallen asleep. So I know it was that same situation that I was talking to you guys about previous episode. It was the same space. Sorry, it was a different space, but the same place. Yeah. Anyway, so I finally wake up and I'm like, this is like insane. And the reason why I know the whole mute thing is because in the same house, in my bedroom, my friend, remember the friend Vicky I was telling you guys about? My friend Vicky was sleeping over one day and I had another astral projection mm -hmm. and I had, I was out of my body and I was in my bedroom 
and I see Vicky. And she's going through my clothes. Yeah. She's touching all my clothes. And she's mute. And then I'm like, this isn't Vicky. Like, wh- who is this and why are they touching my stuff? That's I wonder something. why we aren't able to hear them. It's weird. I'm telling you, it's the thing that I was talking about last episode. It's like as if there are specific laws in this, this place. Yeah. Because Vicky actually had the same situation happening. Remember I told you guys, I was talking last episode, I said that when I had um, touched my mom, I immediately woke up. My, my friend, Vicky, she had the same situation. She, she, she told me, she's like, I was astral projecting. And with astral projection, there's this thing that happens where if you, th- you'll actually, if you speak to a lot of people, they'll tell you the same thing. People that have had experiences. Yeah. I've actually read a lot about it online. They say if you think of a place, you go there. Like, you're just automatically there. I've never actually had this happen yeah. to me. Um, but I've, I've heard about it. So she tells me, she's like, I was thinking about my boyfriend's house. And immediately I was there. And she's like, and this is the creepy part. She's like, he was sleeping diagonal. Like, like he wasn't sleeping straight or horizontally. He was like, this is the bed. And he was just like diagonally sleeping on it. So she's like, he was sleeping in such a weird way that he never normally sleeps whenever we're together. Yeah. So she's just like, she's like, when I climbed into bed with him, because I was scared, because she was scared too, right? She's like, the second I touched him, I immediately woke up. And then I always thought, I'm like, okay, is this a sort of law that's in this like dimension that if you touch like someone living, yeah. you're breaking a rule and you just get like set right back? I don't know. This is something that I've always wanted. This is actually something that you guys can like, if you guys have had astral projections and you have touched the living is has this happened to you because it's it's something that has happened to me and, and her, her yeah. multiple times yeah. um so the crazy part of this is she tells her boyfriend her boyfriend is a complete skeptic he doesn't believe in anything this was like her then boyfriend he doesn't believe in anything he never believed in anything he turns around and he's like that's actually really weird because that I is how sleep. i sleep so like yeah, coincidence, it could be, but Who in my opinion, think no. of somebody actually sleeping diagonally? Though? Exactly, because he even said, like, I was sleeping that way last yeah. night. Yeah. So, and there's just so many more things that we'll talk about later, but um, there's, it's just, this stuff is crazy, I'm telling you, like, and we really, really want to hear you guys and your experiences because we have so many things to talk about, mm-hmm. and maybe if we kind of compare like what our happens stories, yeah. our stories we could kind of get to the bottom of this <laughs> even though I, I know unless we like die or something we're never gonna get to the bottom of it and it's fun to talk about like i love talking yeah, about this stuff it's definitely fine <laughs> yeah so is there anything else that you wanted to touch base on i actually do have a question yeah so when you are about to astral project do you see yourself sleeping as well or is it just like a f- like nothing's there Okay, so here's my thing. I've read a lot of people do see their body. Yeah. I've never seen my body. I've never actually seen my body. I know that Have I'm you ever my turned body. around to see it? Or did you just decide to get up and go and do whatever you wanted to do, thinking you were actually awake? When when my... Remember my mom's house? Yeah. Two in the afternoon with, with Frank? Yeah. When I turned around, the bed was empty. The bed was empty. I wasn't there. But my phone was there and my phone was vibrating and mm-hmm. it was getting text messages and I could see that, but my body wasn't there. So that's that's what was weird to me. Um, I would never see my body, yeah. but I would know that I'm out of my body. Like I don't know you how to explain it. You have that feeling. You get that. Yeah, feeling, you know you're right? you're you're awake, but you're yeah. you're in some sort of other land. Like it's it's so weird. Like I'm telling you, it's another dimension. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. It's crazy. Yeah, there's so many people. Like, I know we sound crazy to people that have never experienced this or don't believe in, like, the the beyond or whatever. But there are so many people that do believe in this stuff because it has happened to them. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, where we just don't understand it because we, we've never experienced it. So, I don't know. Maybe, hopefully, you'll have one soon. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't wish this unless you unless, actually want yeah. this to happen to you. Um, I don't wish this on anyone because it's actually very, it's, very terrifying. Yeah, it's really so, creepy. Yeah. Um, 
I will say one thing though. I don't want to say it's very, very terrifying. If you, okay, because there's a lot of people, I actually take that back. There's a lot of people that do this on purpose, which is fine. Yeah. They you're, have experience. Mm-hmm. What were you going to say? But you're able to control it. Exactly. Right? There are some people that are able to control so it. So they do enjoy it. If you are one of these people that would like to like get into it, there are people that can teach you how to astral project where you can control what is happening. Exactly. So when I say it's terrifying, don't do it. Um, don't listen to me. You can read up on it yourself. Yeah. And there are ways that you can control it. This is just my experience. So I don't like the fact that I said it's terrifying. And because you know what? You might have an amazing experience and I don't want to hold you guys back. This is just my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I personally don't like doing it either. Like the second I would get sleep paralysis, I would force myself to wake up. But astral projecting, I think, is like on another level. Yeah, literally. And, <laughs> and I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that personally. Yeah, me neither. Like, um, I, I dealt with it a few times and I'm just like, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not okay with this yeah. at all. Um, that's why if it ever tries to happen to me now, I literally refuse to leave my body. I refuse to get up. Yeah. And I like start praying and then I wake up. Because yeah. I know when I'm in the astral projection, you actually feel a weird vibration, which is another thing that a lot of people have have talked about. Yeah. They, they feel a vibration. Um, watch the show. There's a movie. I don't know if you've seen it. I, I, I told you to watch it one time, I think. I'm not sure if you actually watched it. No. It's It was on Netflix. I don't know if it's on Netflix anymore. It's called The Nightmare. No, I don't think I watched it. It's all about astral projecting. But, it, but it's mainly about people who accidentally astral project. Which is like... That's what I'm really interested in. <laughs> is people who have accidentally... Just like us. Like yeah. you, you had that accidental um, sleep paralysis. And yeah. I have the accidental astral projection that's what i really want to know like who's had that yeah yeah so i mean i feel like we have like talked a lot about this stuff i mean i think we've covered a lot yeah yeah um so again write to us email us at um the twilight dimension 444 at gmail.com thank you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> i forgot our email address um and you can even message us on instagram at the twilight dimension um we also have twitter yeah at the twilight dim okay and then and i think that's it i think that's all the social medias that we have <laughs> okay well we look forward to hearing from you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hopefully you've had fun because we actually like i said before we love talking about this stuff so yes, thank you again so for joining much us <laughs> okay thank you all right bye